welcome let's look at the errors that you might encounter while you are doing the VLOOKUP function. So by now you should understand that when you are going to do a VLOOKUP, you need to have a reference table. So you know the function well, and when you apply it, you don't get the correct answers as you expect them. Let's look at this example. I'm going to find the values for number of students from the reference table that we see there. So we now have to start and say VLOOKUP. Now you understand that when you do a VLOOKUP, you need to identify the lookup value. So I want to find the students who are registered for OA. That is my lookup value. Comma. Now my reference table, I will highlight it without taking the headings. We know that. Now when I say comma, the last one now is when I have to tell the VLOOKUP on in which column of my reference table are the values coming from. So it's column two. Okay. Closing the bracket and pressing enter, now you realize that 421 is what you get. But when you check in the reference table, OA doesn't have 421 as number of students. So some of you might say maybe you forgot and then or you neglected or you didn't check this value, you rushed to autofill. Now the other values will come. But you realize that the 421 is actually belonging to hospitality. So it comes twice. And then if you are not aware, you will continue without seeing that this is an error. So what should happen first is that before we apply VLOOKUP, we need to sort our reference table. So I'm going to delete what we got as the answers there. And then I'm going to highlight my reference table without taking the headings. Then when I go to sort and filter sort A to Z, it will sort them. So when I come here and I say equals to V lookup like we did, and then lookup value click, comma, then I highlight my reference table comma 2 close bracket enter 212 is for OA that's correct now check when I autofill now there's a problem here this is now caused by the way in which we didn't include the absolute referencing so when we do a VLOOKUP after sorting when you say VLOOKUP you need to after identify the lookup value comma when you highlight or select the reference table press f4 on your keyboard then when you say comma then you put a 2 so the f4 is an absolute referencing so that your reference table will always be seen by all the values that you are going to autofill for so after putting column 2 close, enter, then now when I autofill, everything comes out correct. Those are the two things that might cause you problems when you do VLOOKUPs. Thank you for watching.